Welcome to part 3 of Marvelous Dress Tutorial. In this part 3, we'll cover rigging as well as setup inside Character Creator and iClone. First, export the base character from Character Creator in FBX format. So go to File, Export, FBX, Avatar. Next, with the dress prepared inside Maya, I'm going to import this FBX file into the scene. Via the outliner, I'm going to select the hip bone and the dress and skin bind them. Making sure that max influence is set to the highest. Next, if your software of choice has a transfer skin weight tool, then I would highly recommend going this route. Just make sure to transfer by name association for the best results. Now it's time to test the skin weights by moving the joints around. If you have a set of test animations, that's even better and more convenient. In some areas, transferred weights are not perfect. For those problem areas, we'll have to fix it manually. And the method you go about doing this will vary by software. But generally, most software will have a way to paint skin weights. Or, if you are more technically inclined and want better accuracy, I would suggest a direct input tool like this component editor. Now let's take a look at the final results where the weight maps have been fixed. As you can see, the area around the skirt now evenly spaced out when the legs are split. The back as well. If we take a look at the weight maps, you'll notice that the influence is fairly even out. So now we are ready to export this character. To do this, first, reset the figure to the default pose. Then select only the components we want to export, like the skeleton and the meshes. And go to File, Export Selection to save in FBX format. Next, drag this FBX file into Character Creator. With the settings set to default character, because the floor and hand contacts have not changed. I'll also assign the dress to a higher layer as to avoid collision level problems with any sort of underwear. Now, we'll need to adjust the material settings because the dress is looking a bit faded. To do this, I'll have to adjust the strength of the diffuse map back to 100. Turn ambient color to black. And adjust the specular and glossiness settings to tone the highlights. Let's go ahead and save this dress out in the custom folder under the One Piece Dress category. And reset the scene by going to File, New Project while discarding our current changes. This is because the body that came in with the dress is just an import facilitator. To create a proper eye avatar, we should reapply the dress to one inside CC like so. Now we can customize the character in all sorts of ways, such as morphing the body, applying hair, accessories, and other clothing objects and even adjusting the coloring of the said objects along with the facial and body features. Let's fast forward to the final adjustments. So everything from the skin tone down to the eye color is adjusted. 
we'll need to export this i avatar with a default 1024 and 1024 animation friendly resolution. Once the character is inside iClone, we should apply cloth physics to the dress by opening the physics portion of the modify panel. Here, you can import the physics weight map, apply cloth presets, and adjust various cloth properties. Also, don't forget to adjust the collision margin, as that can have a big impact on the simulation quality. Now, we'll just apply the animation from the content library to test the cloth physics. If the dress intersects into the body, one can fix it by adjusting the cloth properties. or adjust the collision shapes on the character under the Edit tab in the Modify panel. Inside the Character Collision Shape Editor, we can directly manipulate the collision shapes and their various attributes. Now, let's take a look at the final result as our character does a catwalk. That concludes the final part of the Marvelous Dress tutorial. I hope that you learned a lot from this tutorial series, and I hope this has inspired you to start making your own Marvelous Dress for iClone.